everyone back again we are the masters of the macabre you are now watching forgotten horror channel i'm noel edmonds he's bill oddy and today <laughs> the goodies um and today we're talking about the good the bad and the, and the ugly of collecting whether bill that be oddy. films or anything you can think of bill um, oddy <laughs> Isn't he a fucking bird watcher? He was a goodie, wasn't he? Oh, I know um, he was. He, he was, but he, he went Indian into bird thing. watching. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Sure, there's a crowd. Uh, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a law against bird watching now and then. Yeah. Um, well, depends what kind of bird it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, today we're talking about collecting stuff. And the pros and cons of it. Yeah. So I don't know where to start with this one, do you? Well, this was um, your idea, I mate. I so I don't. I just. Oh fuck me! I don't know where to start with it. How about um, at the beginning? Yeah. Um. No matter where you go, you. there you are. Yeah. They always start. Yeah, well, first of all, everyone knows what it's like collecting things. Yeah. Um, the broom it takes up. I just wanted to quickly get some formats out of the way, not specifically showing the items, but the formats, because everyone, because you've got like, if you, I mean, some some of these viewers probably were old enough to remember laser discs, but I just wanted to quickly show a laser disc, which is basically like a vinyl. Yeah, so okay, are just how easy that is to store. Um, obviously, the height's a bit of a bar late. But, and then, but then we went on to stuff like the Warner boxes. Do you know what I mean? Um, I really love... I really the love how the, the laser disc was... The original Friday the Thirteenth, and then your VHS was the original Friday the Thirteenth. The pity, <laughs> yeah. Um, they're pretty much a similar size. I mean, we're not talking. About, we're not going on about sizes as such. But um, <laughs> and then, but then you've got like Betamax. Uh, you yeah. know, like the clamshell Betamax. But then they did them in the smaller boxes, like the VHSs. Yeah. And then they did them in even fucking smaller, smaller boxes. Yeah. But they also did beat a max in the fucking big X rental boxes. And then you get onto fucking DVDs, fucking blue, <laughs> Blu-rays. But you know that it never ends. Then you've got VCDs, which are like CDs. Um, I haven't got any CEDs. Um, and then you've got fucking 35 mil, but how many people have 35 mil real? That's true. Um, eight, eight millimeters, yeah. yeah. So um, reels. And then you've got stupid fucking box sets like that. Um, so my, my point was storing the fucking things. Yeah. Because if you've got a fucking, well, you know what it's like to fucking collect videos. You get you only get like ten films on a shelf, yeah. and then you've got you got DVDs that hold so much more. Yeah. Um, but you know where does it fucking end? But my point, my point is, we're not talking about the size of fucking. We're not like them other channels talking about fucking how big the fucking spines are. But my point is, it's collecting stuff. Um, people haven't got the room. No, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Then you start. No, then I know exactly doing, what you mean. And then you've got figures. Oh God! Collect, yeah. If you're collecting figures, books, magazines, comics. I didn't get any anything like that. everyone's seen a fucking magazine and a comic. But yeah, it just takes up too much room, and people people don't realise, you know, especially getting into it. It's all right having a few at a, you know a few at the start. Yeah. When it builds up, you, like, you sort of look at it and you think, fuck, you get a bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Because it's like, what I mean, because most of my stuff's boxed up. I only see it once in a blue moon. So it's, it's fucking, 
it's in a way it's kind of pointless having it, but I know I've got it, so I, you know what I mean. I can always sleep sleep uh, sleep easy at night. But you, <laughs> you you should though. You should get some stuff out behind you because the stuff you've got is amazing. I know, fucking. You just can't be asked. <laughs> What no it put it? I've got fucking three guitars, well two guitars and a bass. I've got two fucking big amps. I've got a surround sound, a weight bench, a load of weights. I might sell me weights actually. Um I've not done out for a year. Just sell them guitar. Um, when was the last time you played the guitar? Well, a couple of months ago. Fucking couple of I've got boxes over there that I set that I send that I use to sell stuff. I sell stuff for me mate on eBay, so I've got fucking boxes over there. Fucking boxes of all sorts of shit up there. I've got a fucking shelf there full of fucking mostly Friday stuff. I mean, a couple of years ago, I sold about fucking 700 CDs just to make room. Um, I've still got fucking probably a few hundred left. It's like me, like me Blu-rays. I sold for about four to 500 Blu-rays about six months ago was it something like that four months ago just to make yeah. a bit of room yeah um, it, it takes over it, yeah it's just it's fucking stupid which brings me on to the point of i strongly suggest to anyone rather than going out and buying everything you see just buy what you really want you know don't go That's and buy a fucking advice. Just fucking buy a film just because you you kind of like it. Buy something you really want um, because you'll be surprised how quickly you run out of room. Unless you've got a big fucking house, then it doesn't matter or you're rich. And it, that's irrelevant. But I'm talking about just a normal person. Um, obviously, do what you want. But I strongly suggest because it's all right saying, well, yeah, the DVDs don't take up that much room. Oh, Blu-rays don't take up that much room. Believe me, once you start getting a few of them, they fucking mount up. Do you know what I mean? They really do mount up. Then if you're getting figures as well, it's like, where can I put this? Like I said, all my fucking stuff in boxes because I've got nowhere to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got a fucking shitload of com Punisher comics that are in storage. I do like the Punisher. I've got fucking stuff under the bed. I've got... I've got stuff I've probably forgotten that I have. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Jap sniper under your bed, doesn't know the war's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, which brings me on to the point of, yeah, you can, like, a, well, he's not a friend anymore, but about a few years ago, um, I thought, well, he's called Jed. Um, he said, oh, what's the point in buying films just to have them on your shelf just because it looks nice? Get rid of them. And it's like, fuck off, do what I want. But I've got, he's got a point in a way. There is, yeah, there is some, it, there is some, there is, there is some, a little bit of a point to that because I, I've, I fell into that trap, what you were talking about before about when the stream mounts up. Obviously, I, uh, I collected these bad boys all pre searched from the, mm. From the moment the video shop, I minded the video shop to uh, sell me some of these things. You know what I mean? All me Bruce Lee's. Then it was all yeah. horror. Um, and I minded the guy. I mean, he used to help him out at a weekend. You know, on a Saturday when I was a, when I was off school. Yeah, yeah. Every Saturday, I used to help him in the video shop, and he used he used to let me take a film home for free at night as my payments. But he used to also let me let me take home any movie poster. And his storeroom was full of movie posters. So my whole bedroom was wallpapered wall to wall to wall of all video posters. My dad, um, instead of just putting them up with blue sack or whatever, or putting frames, he wallpapered them all. We paste mm. onto the wall, and they all overlapped a little bit. So I had a whole collage of horror in my bedroom. I mean, I wish... I wish I had them posters now because I'd, 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 I'd have been able to use them, you know what I mean? Um, and they were all the good ones as well, you know what I mean? Driller Killer and all that lot, The Burning, all the movie posters I had. 
Um, they were wallpapered onto me wall. Um, but going back to the point, I collected VHSs, and the main in the main they were the they were the, the big clamshell, you know, the big ones. Mm. So I had them all the spines showing, and my dad had to that my dad had to build yeah. shelves, and there were shelves Looks upon nice. shelves upon shelves, and. In the end, it looked like I was a video shop myself. I had that many of them. Yeah. And then they had me records so that I collected because there was no CDs. I was before CDs. I never had cassettes at that time because I never bothered with So I had me, me stereo and I had all my vinyl albums, all my heavy metal albums I, I collected. They were mm. all like, in, like on the shelves as well. So... It was a really, really, really cool setup for a kid. Uh, if you look back now, you'd probably say, oh, that's a really fucking cool setup. Yeah, I mean, anyone at a certain age, I think over 40, I think I'd, I'd say really would get it. Um, but the, the room, the room, fast. mate, the room, the room, it got looking, to the point where my room was full, and then my granddad made me a, a cabinet. He, he, he made me an actual long cabinet for my TV to go on. And then and he opened it with deep drawers, and there was all other records or videos shoved in there as well, because there was VHSs everywhere. Oh. Um, but the room ran out, and I thought, my God. Yeah, that's the um, that's the that's the downside. It does look nice, but the fucking hell, it takes up room. I mean. <sighs> I mean, even DVDs, like I said, once you get started yeah. getting into them, everything. Yeah, well, even, don't... That's why you see a, a lot of the, a lot of that. I mean, me personally, because of because it just reminds me of what me my room used to be. I won't have A to Z of DVDs or Blu-rays. It's too much. I downsized mm. completely, and the way I did, the way I've always done my room is I've always had a section for each of my media that I like, you know what I mean? But I've always planned it out so I can display it properly. Right, I've used the room to display it rather than just shove anything and everything in there. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. So all the DVDs and all the Blu-rays or whatever that I weren't that bothered about, they've gone, got shorts, I don't have them, and I've only got, you see sections of ones that I really like and obviously up in the heavens is the the bigger box sets and that and yeah, that's how yeah. I've worked it because I'll only buy now what I really really want but just to to make just to strengthen my collection really um well back in the day when I, when I was collecting videos it was like two or three VHSs a week on the off the flea market, mm -hmm. and then when they started selling them sell through in around 86, 1986, everybody started collecting VHSs then, and then it just went through the roof. And then, obviously, mm -hmm. when DVD came along, a lot of those old schoolers jumped on the DVDs, so because they were smaller, you could fit more in, and that's and that's no what that's how it went. No need to rewind. No, none Better of that nonsense. Um, and we had extras, and we had un uncut films for the first time ever. So, yeah. of course, a DVD was a win, 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 win. You know, then when yeah. Blu-ray come out, I, again, I, I never jumped on Blu-ray. I was happy with DVD because I was buying. I was, I was, I was well into buying this sort of stuff. You know, the the special yeah, editions yeah. and that. Because this to me was a novelty, and this is what I still like now today. But well, um, I, I had to plan it out, so I've got rid of. I've probably got mid. I've probably got rid of more of my collection than I've got out. <laughs> if that makes sense, because I'm using my space. Like here, I've got yeah. my masks. I've got a section of masks. Here is. Three sections of VHS is all pre cert horrors, and then the sections behind me are franchises and other films that I've liked in sections. And then on top, I've got like various box sets and stuff and what have you on top. But I've, 
I've just made sure that I've that I've, I've it doesn't get too cluttered because it does my head in. If it gets too cluttered, it does my head in. That's why I only, I only buy certain things now. Yeah. Um, I think I sold more than a fucking some people have. I think I sold more the last yeah. few months than some channels I've ever fucking seen, let alone yeah. own. Yeah, and well, I've I was the same. Still got hundreds I've... in the fucking box over there and up there. That's just out, blue ray. Out, out of my out of my collection, this is like the the smallest my collection's ever been. The quantity, you know what I mean. Mm. But for the quality of it, it's it's far better. I've kept everything that that means a lot to me, and I've not just bought for the sake of buying, just to just to fill gaps or so I can sit there and try and make a vid and look cool and say, oh, I've got everything. It's not about that. It's never been about mm. that. It's, yeah, it's, a, it, I mean, it's I've, about having the stuff that you like. I've just stuck to buying mainly Friday stuff. All I do is just every now and then I'll add, add bits to the collection because I just can't stop. It's like a bucket box of Pringles. Um, this is where this is what we need but, to address because but you the thing I've got a it's like an a, an obsession. And I used to have an obsession with Halloween, collecting Halloween one and two, where yours is Friday. I can totally relate because I was I, anything Halloween. I was on it, no matter what it was. It could be a fucking leaves from the fucking streets, and I'd be having it. You know, you're the same yeah. with the the water from the pond and the sand from the beach and the wood from the trees. Yeah. It it just gets that that fucking obsessive that you have to have it. So I, I get yeah. it, but I had to I had to prove that I wasn't it wasn't a problem. So I let so I got rid of a couple of Halloweens and I got rid of a you know from different versions from across the world. Yeah. So I got rid of about five or six from of Halloween one and I got about six of Halloween two because they have to be it has to be symmetrical. I have to have the same amounts in both sides. Mm. <laughs> That's still there. But I just proved to, so I didn't have all the all the copies because I had, I had the majority of DVDs from all over the world of Halloween one and two, and it was just. And I sat there and I thought, I counted about 60, 60 different versions of Halloween, and I was like, this, this, it's getting too much. Too much, yeah, just for the yeah. sake of what having them. So I let yeah. I let a few of them go. See, I couldn't do it. <clears throat> I know that's 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 what I'm working on with you. You got to go into uh, therapy. <laughs> I must I must have spent over the years. I reckon probably close to ten grand just on Friday. Oh yeah, easy. Um, easy. I mean the media books alone. I think for I think thirty about between thirteen and fourteen hundred I spent just on media books and then you're talking then you've got I've got magazines, comics, <laughs> videos, laser discs, figures, fucking cups, fucking t shirts, fuck me, whatever I, fucking you name it, I've probably got it. Um Obviously, but my point is again bringing into collecting. These weren't overnight. No, no. These are, these are over years, um, decades, man. But fucking, you can't. You know, it's just you, there's a point where you've just got to say, right, enough's enough. Just buy what you can. Um, yeah. But the, the other point is downloading films. A lot, a lot easier. You don't. You've got storage. You don't have to display it. You don't. Uh, you can buy it whenever you want if when it's available, um, and it's just easier. But yeah. the downside of that is you've got you've run out of signal. Your internet goes. You can't watch it. Yeah, that's true. Where I, I mean, I no. Oh, I'll get it off the shelf. Fuck it. Um, yeah, I've well, I've. I've actually I fell into that little trap of being lazy and just ordering them off Prime and that. I mean, mm. I don't own 
um, a few of the latest ones on physical media. Because again, I want to. I only buy things for my collection which I really, really need. So, in that way, I'm being sensible. But then I'm spending seven, seven, ten, fifteen pound to buy a film off Prime if, if I watch it. You know what I mean? But um, it's just, it's like also I think physical media is better because you can always borrow it to someone. You know, I'll if let, someone I'll, can, as long as you get it back. Idea. Um, you know, yeah, I've had that mistake before. I'll get it back and it's fucking battered to fuck. Oh, yeah, um, that's what I don't like. I um, So there's that way. And if you get fed up of it, you can always sell it. Yeah. Once you've downloaded it, that's it. You've, you're fucked. You've got it. That's it. Um, also, on, on a more professional side, it's, it's ruined a lot of shots. You know? Um, people, not just films, music, music mainly. The, the internet um, has. The internet yeah, definitely um, has. I've worked in record shops, obviously not anymore, because they've gone. Um, fucking cursed. Don't ever employ me. You'll be shut down in two years. Um, that long? So, uh, yeah. Um, so on that side, I, I do get a bit pissed off. It's mainly music more than so. When people download music, it's like, fuck me. You, yeah, the albums have died, uh, haven't they? The albums have died, really. Um, Everybody can just download it, something and um, on the streaming sites and they've got them in the cars on Bluetooth or whatever. Yeah. Bluetooth I mean, people, or whatever. Might, might, people might be shocked with this, that I actually prefer music over films. Um, if I had to get rid of one, I would actually get rid of films. I mean, not I mean in general i just i'd be actually prefer music i'd rather if i had to keep one for one sort of um media type it'd be it'd be film music i do prefer music it's more it's more um what's the word for provoking and all that shit it brings back a lot of nostalgia i know films do but with music with me i know you um, i know you said to me didn't you the other, i couldn't get out because you said you were on about you wrote about your collection, and then you said to me, "Yeah, guy on YouTube, there was this rare, one of rare his couple of boxes, boxes of Guns and Roses, and you said I'd trade everything mm. in just for them." And I thought, "You f and, and I said, "You trade your Friday yeah. that Friday the Thirteenth, just for a rare couple of boxes of it. Guns and Roses." Yeah, I fucking would think about me Halloween would go. I'd just go, "Yeah, no problem. There you go, done." My Friday, I would actually think about. I'd have to think about it, but I'd, I'd be really on the fence. But my Halloween's, I would. My Halloween stuff, I'd just go, yeah, you can. Is that because Guns and Roses are your favourite band, or is it because you pre the, just prefer music? I prefer music in general, but Guns and Roses is one of my favourite bands. I mean, I've been into them fucking hell for long over thirty years. Um, I've got a lot of stuff myself. I know fucking. CDs, fucking fuck knows whatever else I've got. Um, books, <laughs> fucking what else is there? Just fucking anything. I, the only thing I never really? years ago, which I was pissed off with, I had three vintage, well, they weren't vintage at the time, obviously, because they were new, but three Guns N' Roses t shirts. And I don't know what, I, I know one of them ripped, so I binned it. And the other two, I don't know where they are. I have got a photo. I should have dug them out just to show, but I've got photos of them with me Guns and Roses from the 90s. When I had long and really, hair. Guns and Guns and Roses didn't really release that no, many albums. Not much, no. Compared to someone <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. I mean, thankfully yeah. you're not into Alice Cooper because he's still going and releasing albums. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You'd be there forever with Beatles, him. Beatles, the shitty Beatles. Um, <laughs> Queen. I've got. I've still got. I've still got my Queen albums, and I've still got my Alice Cooper albums. And were I collected up to it at mm -hmm. that point? I think the last, the last uh, Alice Cooper album I bought on vinyl, I think was Trash in nineteen eighty nine. You know, with Poison on. Mm. Uh, because to me, when that came out, that that was the title said it all. It was Trash. But yeah, I stopped buying albums then. I went into CDs or cassettes because I was in the yeah. car. And so he had CDs millions of cassettes. 
Uh, CDs, uh, CDs are always been my favourite format, simply because they're just easy to store. Yeah. I mean, back in the 80s, 90s, they were fucking expensive. Now they're like 10 a penny. Yeah. But, um, all then, has it's, a lot of money. All media has its sell-by date, yeah. mate, doesn't it? That's the problem. Yeah. I mean, look at vinyl now. Everyone jumping on the vinyl bandwagon. Fucking hell, I've got stuff fucking from fucking year, many years ago. Still, These things are making a comeback, I've noticed. Yeah. Don't we know? <laughs> Um, what was the other point? Yeah, like I said, it's all right, you know. Like I said to me, mate, fucking Jed, fucking druggy, fucking dickhead. Um, oh, just get it on, get it, I'll watch it on Netflix. It's like I, when I've had Netflix, I fucked it off. I get it like once, one month a year, yeah. So it's like, yeah, but when I've had Netflix, it's all oh, fancy watching such a film. Is it on? No, I just go, ah, fuck it, take it off the shelf and put it on. So yeah. all these streaming services don't always have what you want to watch. No, and if they do, they're charging you for it. Yeah, like Amazon, you go and get Amazon Prime and you go on, and you still got to pay for the fucking thing, you know, if you want to watch certain things. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's just, because yeah. um, eventually shops will go all together and it'll all be fucking streaming and they can charge whatever they want then. Yeah. Because there's no competition. Yeah. It's all right, so yeah, but it's a fiver on Amazon. It's it's twenty pound in the shop, but yeah. But once once them shops go, yeah. Amazon will just go. We've got no competition now. We can charge whatever we fucking want. Yeah. See, go. I I loved I loved going round and I love going to the shops and getting stuff. I love look. That's why when we went to the yeah. Love of Horror the other week. It was great going around the stalls because you could actually, rather than ordering it online, you could pick the fucking thing up and look at it. Yeah, I miss that, and not have a fear of it being out of stock or some some fucker buying them all. You know, for some scalper buying them all and then making a YouTube video. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could sit, you could stand there at your leisure and look at things, look at masks, look at figures, look at. Uh, Blu-rays or whatever it was, yeah, whatever, and you yeah. could have a look at it before you bought it, and that's what no I missed. No delivery charge, nothing. No, yeah, no. Just, oh, Royal uh, Mail fucking the dog as usual. They're just or, fucking, uh, they're just inadequate. They're in, I think uh, a lot of the delivery companies are inadequate. Just inadequate. Yeah, um, uh, Erpes are the worst, I think. Hermes, every whatever they fucking change the name to, they're the worst. Um, but yeah, you like I said, you buy it off a seller online. Are they going to send you the right fucking products? Because I've had that a few times. Yeah, and they've not not sent me the right thing. Or you get I it. It's a ball edge, then, isn't it? Yeah. Then you then because I my anxiety goes through the roof because it's like if we order something online, it's like is it going to turn up? Is it going to be damaged? Are they going to send the right fucking thing? Because as soon as it says oh it's coming out, it, you it, you should get it Wednesday, and the Wednesday's gone, and it's like. Hmm. Has it been fucking lost? You know what I mean? It's like it's it's I don't know in online's good and bad, but in some ways. I think, but... Well I think I think nowadays though Ant, with with social media platforms, I feel like YouTubers who are just starting off, I think that they're under pressure to try and keep up with the Joneses. They, they, well, that's it's like they have to have they have to have the latest 4K set. They have to have the latest big bus. They have to have the latest. And even if they go into debt for it, which is which is not worth it, you know what I mean? Just to make a video for, mm. you know what I mean? Because you have got these, unfortunately, you have got these so-called, these influencers on YouTube, yeah. um, these show-offs that, that have got things on pre-order for months because... They've got no. That's all they live for is to to buy things to show. Mm. Um, and unfortunately, they're influencing younger collectors. Oh, I must have this. I must have that. Well, I must have this because they were showing it. And that's where it's that's where it's wrong. You should, even if you've got a DVD, and you're and you're proud of that DVD. Fuck's sake, show it. Be proud. Mm. Be you. Don't don't, don't be so, one um, of them. Don't be one of them faceless sheep 
it jumps does it i've got this this week i've got this that week oh and i've got this this week and this is the best one i've ever had and then the next video and half the time they're not even watching what they're showing and i mean and i've said it before haven't we these people are show-offs they've got no life that's all they do is buy to show buy to show buy to yeah. show and they can't tell you because they've never watched it but it's just to keep yeah. up with i've got i've got a gun I'd buy a 4K film that's come out, whatever. This isn't 4K, but I'm just using this as an example. I've got to go and buy the 4K film. It's like, why? Just buy a Blu-ray if you're that bothered. Yeah. I'll buy the DVD. Cheaper. Be a nutter and buy both. Yeah. <laughs> DVD yeah. and Blu-ray. Um, well, folks, you've both done it. But, but that's it. You, you should, just don't come You should shot. be able you to buy show a Blu-ray or a VHS tape and not be pressured into, oh, my recent pickups have to be all 4Ks or this. It shouldn't be that because someone's shown the latest Hellraiser or whatever it's version or whatever. It's and it, uh, that's, that's the it, problem. It that's the problem. You've nailed it. it. You've nailed it, mate. It is. People are looking at it like competition. I've got the biggest. I've got the best. I've got that. And it's bullshit. And that's what I don't like. That's what I don't like about the collecting side of it. You're always going to have some fucking knobhead with everything. who's spending all the money that you, can, that you don't on all this. And then I've got this. I've got that. I've got that. And again, at school, they'd have been swatted because of the show-offs, you know, They'd have just been swat. They'd have had their head down the toilet. You know what I mean? And that'd have been it. Hey, that platform is theirs to have because there's no repercussions on them. But it's sending out a bad bill of goods to people. It's sending out the wrong idea of collecting. Collecting should be fun and joyful, not stress. And am I going to pay me bills? And I've spent all my money because I've got this box set coming because I had to have it because he had it and they've shown that one and I need that one. It's good to have a wish list. Well, make it a wish list. Save your money. Take pride in buying whatever you want. Do not yeah. go put yourself into financial difficulties yeah, because um, of these muppets on YouTube or whatever site you're on. Yeah, it's like... Um... Rather than buying, oh, I can go and buy 10 films tomorrow because I've just been paid or whatever, you fucking pocket money or whatever. Rather than buying them 10 films that you probably don't really want, save your money and get something that you really, you know, something a bit more expensive. Save your money. Yeah. Just, fucking, you know, don't go, all right, I've got £100 here. I can go and buy 10 films. Fuck the 10 films off. Give it a few months. You'll pick them up for a quid each. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just save your money, go and buy something nice that you really want. It's something you can like put on your shelf and think, yeah, fucking awesome. That whether it be well, that's the, it. does that does that set a piece of music or whatever, anything, whatever you're into. There is that pressure though, Ant, that that people feel the need to have everything now. Don't want to wait. They have to have everything now. You have to have your shelves full now. I mm -hmm. loved. I loved it back in the day, just going to the V8 to the flea market and just putting, getting two VHSs that I loved, watching them all, and then putting them on my shelf. And there was like a room, and half a room empty. And before I knew it, because I loved what I was doing, it filled up. And then yeah. I bought a, a cabinet for my TV and more, yeah. you know. And yeah. my granddad yeah. made me one, but it, but that's the way that's the way a collector should be. And then you have to go, oh, where's this going to go? But I just think today it's not it's like certain. that. It's 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 stress. It's expensive, and I think there's a lot of negative influences on there. Yeah, even even if they don't mean to be negative, it comes across as. Or it can come across as being negative. Um, yeah, this is, yeah. Look what I've got. Watching, look what I've got. Look what I've got this people. today. Every week. Oh, that per yeah, that person's got that. I wanted that, and then you feel like shit there because you can't afford to have it. And then you got. Then you're even trying to borrow money. Fucking 
either your parents, if, if you're that age, for money, or fucking try to sell something to get or, it. Or like, the trouble starts when you say, well, I'll not pay the electric bill this month and I'll, I'll mm. spend that money on that edition. That's, oh, where, yeah, you go. that's where it shouldn't be going, folks. The, um, always look after yourself all first. These, the collection all will always be all there. These, uh, it's not a race these, to the finish line because there's always going to be something else coming out. And I think there will. And for me, that's a win-win because I don't jump on all the new stuff. I wait for a few years and you'll always pick up stuff on eBay or at a charity shop or Vinted or somewhere else where you can get these things that were £60, £70 pound today, £80 pound upwards, and get them for 30 quid, 20 quid in a few years' time when that fool's gone on and bought another £400 bust of a film they don't fucking like. You know what I mean? There's, well, there's, no, support. there's no support, though, with, with these... Um... With these channels, there's no like you know they're supposed to be. I mean, it's, I watch these channels and it's like, oh, such a person's my friend, and I think they're not your friend. No. And if they were your friend, they'd be supporting you more. Maybe they are behind the scenes, but on YouTube itself, I don't see any of that. No, it's a competition, isn't it? It's like oh, it's I've got like, this, you've not. Yeah, or um, I'll try and steal your subs because yeah, that's that's another I'll thing. It's like they're collecting themselves to try to collect people's subs. It's like fuck it, be yourself. Don't matter. Like I've always said, I'd rather have ten people that enjoy watching us or listening to us than fucking thousands that that don't. I'm perfectly happy with oh, how oh, we do, mate. I am, and quality. I think the people. I think the people that watch us are the, uh, are the real people who want to say, yeah, them, them two, tell it as it is. They don't give a shit. They're not into brands and all this shit. They, they, never have. They, just, they do enter, they, they entertain, we entertain them in the, our knowledge because let's be honest, if we do put our knowledge down, we do know quite a bit of shit between us. Yeah. You know, but I mean, it's just over the years of doing it, you see. It's just, um, it was more, like this video was more just to sort of say about collecting. You know, obviously, it takes sort of space. There's yeah. pros and cons of doing different things, but just on the back, it's there's just no support with anyone. I mean, I could name drop a few channels, but I don't want to cause them. Well, it wouldn't be causing shit because it'd just be, wouldn't actually be a negative thing as such, but. <sighs> I'll talk, I'll say T. I'll just say there's a channel T. Um and it's a good channel, blah 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 blah, nice people, blah 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 blah. And they say that such a person or people are their friends, and I don't see it. And I think they know deep down. Yeah. But it's not for me to say. No. But they no support off them. They never I don't think I've ever watched a video off so-called channels that have ever given them a shout out or add them up well i don't think no no add them on just there's nothing there's nothing there no it's all greed fuck everyone else i'm okay yeah I've, yeah i've not been i've never been like that if no one likes me that's fine but at least they can't turn around and say he talks out of his ass you know what i mean because I don't, I like you, yeah. and I, I like you, yeah. and I could say you talk out your ass. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like people kissing my ass, and I don't like kissing anyone else's. So it's just the way how it is, and I hope it comes across in the videos. And maybe that's why them, them, them few people that do watch us and enjoy it for whatever yeah. fucking reason. I hope uh, they have an understanding because we're not, we're not news readers, we're not celebrities. We know a good decent amount of fucking horror films. We don't know everything. No one does. Um, but I like to think that we're different because it's just raw, I suppose you could say. It's just it's no raw. Script, is there? No yeah, scripts. No, just raw, just fucking how it should be. I like to I'd like to think that 
whoever's watching us, if we were in the same room, we'd all have a bit of a chin wag. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have a brew and have a bit of a laugh. I'd like to yeah. think, think of it that way. Not fucking stood there or sat there like, oh, yes, today, oh, P- yes, blah, 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 blah. You know, because we're not, we're not fucking celebrities. We're not news readers. Don't matter if you've got 10,000 subs or one. You're all the fucking same. You're all sitting down to shit, don't you? So That's right, mate. Um, and on that bombshell, um, mate, yeah. I think you've covered everything. You did Things really you well. Did. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, we'll call it quits on that one. Yeah. Um, could have been structured a little bit better, but like I said, we don't script anything. No. No. Yeah. We got the points across, though, but I, I think the main advice is just, again... Try your best. Don't be in such a rush to, to try and please the people. But you know, do not be a people pleaser. That's a, just a, ru- a road to ruin. But just go at your own pace. Be proud of what you have got because you'll have something, and show it. And do not do not fall into the traps of these negative influencers who don't know nothing. You'll be able to know these people when they they sit in front of a camera with a horror T-shirt on and say. And that's my favourite genre, and they don't know nothing. You'll spot them. You'll spot them a mile yeah, away. Just constantly buy films that they don't watch. Yeah, it's just to fill gaps, then, isn't it? It's um, which again, it's like a um, passive aggressive, isn't it? They yeah. might not think they're doing anything negative, but I think people who watch them, I think over time they cotton on. Because I think that's yeah, what's well, happened. That, well, you've they mentioned were, it before, haven't you? Made the the views don't match the subs at all because. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's a, few just a bad years bill of ago, goods, isn't it? A few years ago, Nate. I think people were into it, but now it's sort of backfired because it's like people yeah. are realising now that they don't know anything. Snake charmers. Yeah. Right, Anthony. Yeah. And on so, that bombshell, thank you, everybody, for watching this uh, important right news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, news bulletin. Bulletin. This has been the news at 10. But no, mm. thank you very much for watching. If you make it this far, me and Anthony do appreciate the people that we do watch. Um, we're going to continue. We got some more good stuff coming up. We've got Chili coming up, and we've got uh, Carlos. Carlos, our good mate, Carlos, talking about You're the omen. Thank you for everyone who's watched us with Flesh. He was a good kid. Yeah. He got We're excited, back. and uh, we've probably ruined him, the poor lad. But you know. Um, he That's wants it. his own again, doesn't he? Doing a Friday. Yeah. So, Anthony, take us out of there with your... Words of wisdom. Well, as he said, thanks. To, well, this is the news at 10. I'm Julia Somerville. He's Peter Sissons. Be safe. Absolutely. Thanks very much, everybody. See you later. <laughs>